The Mock is a 1961 film which tells the story of a convicted child molester, now out of prison, who was suspected in the molestation and beating of another child. The picture stars Stuart Whitman, Maria Schell, Rod Steiger, and Brenda DeBanzi. The film was adapted by Sidney Buckman and Stanley Mann from the novel by Charles E. Israel. The film was directed by Guy Green. The Mock was selected to compete for a Golden Palm Award at the Cannes Film Festival, and Whitman was nominated for the Oscar for Best Actor in a Leading Role. Jim Fuller is released from prison after serving time to intent to commit child molestation. He attempts to return to society while dealing with his psychological demons with the help of a psychiatrist, Dr. McNally. After finding employment, Jim begins a romantic relationship with the company's secretary, Ruth Lighton. He appears to be on the way to a better life. However, when a child is reported as a possible abuse victim, Jim is picked up for questioning by the police. He has a genuine alibi and is cleared, but a tabloid reporter exposes Jim's previous conviction and his presence in the company and community is no longer wanted. The mock was filmed in black and white and in cinemascope. Each of the three main characters was played by an actor not originally slated for the role. Stuart Whitman was a last minute replacement for Richard Burton. Maria Schell took over for Gene Simmons, who was supposed to have played Ruth. And the role of the prison psychiatrist was intended for Trevor Howard before Rod Steiger was cast. According to an interview given by Steiger many years later, he had visited an analyst himself in the 1950s and observed how he conducted himself. He played McNally as an Irishman to avoid stereotyping and added touches to impart more humanity to the character. Steiger claimed that the portrayal was so well received by psychiatric professionals that he was invited to speak at a convention by a psychiatric society. The mock premiered in London on January 26, 1961 at 20th Century Fox's Carlton Theatre in Haymarket, London and opened in New York in October. Its subject matter made it controversial and it was criticized for making the pedophilic protagonist too sympathetic. It also received favorable reviews for its treatment of a difficult subject and praise for the acting, writing, and directing. So check out the suspense thriller on DVD, Blu-ray, or streaming, and I'll see you in the next exciting video.